These videos are on properties of compounds and ionic bonds. So before we can talk about the different compounds that we have, we should know what kind of properties are associated with different ones. That way, if we're given experimental information, you are able to accurately predict what kind of compound you have. So there's three different types. We can have an ionic compound, a covalent compound, or a metallic compound. Ionic compounds are composed of metals and nonmetals, which we abbreviate as M plus for metals because they form cations, and nonmetals as NM minus because they form anions. Covalent compounds are between nonmetals and nonmetals, and metallic compounds are between two metals. Some of the different physical properties is that ionic compounds are going to be solid at room temperature. So think of things like salt. Covalent compounds can be a solid, liquid, or gas at room temperature, which makes sense because they're made up of all nonmetals. Metallic compounds are going to be solid at room temperature. Again, they're just made up of metals, and we know that metals are solid at room temperature. Ionic compounds are going to have your highest melting point and boiling point. Again, think of salt. Salt, in order to become in the liquid form, would have to be extremely hot. Much hotter than even a metallic compound, which are two metals. We can mix two metals together and make things like steel, and this is at a middle of the range melting point and boiling point. Covalent compounds have our lowest melting point and boiling point, which again makes sense because most of them are liquid and gases at room temperature. Some of them do conduct electricity. Ionic compounds and metallic compounds both conduct electricity. Metallic compounds do so in their solid form, Think of the copper wires that run through your house. Ionic compounds will conduct electricity, but only when dissolved as ions in water or when they're in their molten state. Covalent compounds do not conduct electricity. Other physical properties are metallic compounds are ductile and malleable. Remember that ductile means that they can be formed into a wire, and malleable means it can be pounded into small sheets. Again, makes sense because we have metals and metals. Ionic compounds are very brittle. So again, thinking of salt, if you were to have a cube of salt, a little salt crystal, and you were to put a lot of force on it, it's going to cleave off, and it'll be very brittle. So it'll just kind of break apart. One last thing is that metallic compounds, when they are heated up in multiple metals, and sometimes other metals, are mixed together in their molten forms, we can make alloys. Some examples of alloys are steel and bronze.